it's Lisa with Tinker Creek Designs and it's Sunday afternoon and I was about to do a little painting. I haven't really painted in about two weeks which is unusual for me but I wanted to sit down and do a little painting and I thought I would invite you guys in to paint with me. So um, if you've watched my videos you know I usually don't plan things out ahead of time so um, I do like to pick out colors and just see what appeals to me for the day and that's what I've done this day. So I'm using Master's Touch products primarily and I've got Ultra Marine Blue. I have got Vermilion which is a really cool fall color I think and this one is called Scarlet. So nice bright color. Then I've also used this one. It's called Flesh and I love the metallic paints. This is um just an all-purpose metallic craft paint. It's called Topaz. So I'm using that one. And the final color is um, this really messy bottle. Um, Soft Apple. Another folk art acrylic paint. And I've got all kinds of paint stuck to this jar. So it's been exceptionally well used. I have put uh, over some stretched canvas. I'm using some uh, Master's Touch acrylic white gesso just to give myself a painting surface that's nice and smooth to work with. And I brought in a couple of sponge brushes. So that's what I'm working with here on this uh, canvas. So I think this one's 11 by 14 or 16. I'd have to go back and look, but it's not a very large canvas. So anyway, if uh, you want to pull out your paints and paint with me, I think that would be great. Um, I just uh, used this little disposable tray, put my colors that I just showed you on the tray, and also put a little bit more of that um, gesso. So that's what's on my brush. That's what's on this canvas already. And I'm just making sure that's really nice and smooth, putting that over the whole surface. So I'm just, uh, just doing a little pointing here. And then I just like to see what... <laughs> What colors I want to start with. I did have the idea of maybe doing a little pumpkin shape. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. If it doesn't work out well, I'll just blend it in and start over and do do something any diff a little different. But I was thinking about like a little pumpkin shape. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. And I think that can be cute and fun. So we'll start with this kind of pumpkin idea and mix in the flesh and that scarlet color and give it a little bit of texture and dimension. I think that's kind of fun. Starting to resemble a pumpkin pretty much. I told my husband I had the idea. <laughs> I wonder what it would look like if we tried to do a little gnome that had a pumpkin body so i don't know we might try it but it's basically a pumpkin shape there you know i probably should um draw out my designs before i paint but i really just like to freehand and like to just see what it looks like when i'm finished so that's what i'm going to do i think that's kind of a pumpkin shape I'm going to put a little bit of this um, ultramarine blue, just a little touch, and then mix it in with my orange color. That is called vermilion. I'm going to kind of blend that on the tray, and then I'm going to bring that into my pumpkin just to add a little bit of, you know, kind of the lines that pumpkins have. So go around the top a little bit with that. Kind of blend that in. I think that can work well. Let's see. Yeah. I kind of like it. Now I'm going to use, um, hmm. yeah, I think I'm going to use a little bit of this darker color mixed with some of the lighter color. And I'm going to see how that would look if I did a little bit of a shape here. This might work. Yeah. Let's see 
where this takes us. Just mixing my colors a little bit. might work really well. So I'll make a little hat for this guy. And I, I found that if I mix the different colors and use the end of the brush, that I can really get some interesting texture and blending going. So that's what I'm on. Kind of go for here. I think that might just work out really nicely. So we just got our little kitten. We got a new kitten a couple weeks ago. We took her to the vet Friday for her checkup and her first day of shots. Her name was Princess Beach. And everybody at the vet's office fell in love with her. Now we're all in love with her too. Um, but she was in here a minute ago and I asked my son to try to make sure he could find her. I said, because I'm going to be painting and she's not been around my paint yet because I haven't painted in a couple of weeks. I said, I bet this would be the first place Princess Peach would like to come and we would have to do some kind of paw print painting then. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm really liking how the texture and the colors are really melding together. So I'm gonna try to do this edge a little bit better. And I'm kind of liking that. So we may have a little no fellow afro. I'm gonna use a little more of the lighter green to kind of go around this furrier part of the hat. And let's see how this does. It just might work. I don't know. We'll see. Never done a pumpkin no person before, but I kind of had that idea that that might work, so I want to try it. And that color that is the Flesh, I think if I could get more of it along with a little bit of the white, that might make a pretty cool nose for the guy. Oh yeah. So that's working. And I'll just finish in the fur trim around the nose. And then I have to make that a little bit more distinguishable. So I think I'm going to get a clean brush with a little bit of this darker orange to go around the edge just a little bit. Make that stand out a little more. There we go. <laughs> He's kind of cute. He's making me a little happy. All right. So now I think he needs a little lighter color up at the top for that same kind of furry tip of the hat. So I believe the gnomes have beards, so we're going to have to do some kind of uh, beard for him. And I think I'm going to use this flesh color mixed with a little more of the white. And... <laughs> We will see how that works on this guy. Wonder if I should draw. Hmm. I kind of like it like that. I think I'm gonna just try his beard a little bit and maybe mix my colors in. I see Princess Peach. She's actually in here. She's at my feet, so she will probably work her way into the film in just a second. So you'll get a chance to see Princess Peach. Now, hmm, what if it should be that color or a different color? I'm gonna go with this, but maybe mix in a little of the green. So let's see. I'm trying to put on a little more thick here because I want his beard to kind of have a little texture. So we're gonna see how this works. It's just fun to play with colors. I love them. I just, the brighter the better. The more I can mix them up, the better. I just love to play with them. I think his beard needs to be wider. So I'm going to come out here. I'm going to bring his beard like that. And you know, there's 
really not a right or wrong. Just go, uh, just play with it. If something looks just a little off, go over it again. Play with it till you get happy. <laughs> I think he's turning out really cute. I just get really excited to get to paint. It is such a um, stress reliever. Just a wonderful time for me. And I hope it is for you guys too. I hope you'll just pick up paint and play. If I can inspire you to do anything, that would be what it would do. This is pick up the paint, play, have some fun. Um, add some positives to your world. There's enough negative, so I try to add a little bit of positivity and a little bit of fun. I am not an artist, not a, anyway, I just um, feel blessed that I've been given this desire to paint and it is an outlet for me. And if I can share it and make anybody smile or be happy, then that's what I'd love to do. So, I've got my pumpkin body. He's got a kind of cool hat. He's got his gnome nose. I think I need to um, go over the edge of that hat again. I'm swiping some of that paint off with this plastic bag that I put here to preserve my dining room tablecloth from getting messy. So, I'm going to add just a little bit of this darker green here just to make sure you can see that to distinguish that. Now I'm thinking that's kind of cute. He's going to need some kind of feet. So I think they could be darker to match the hat. Maybe even with a little bit of that um, ultra, I think I'm going to add a little bit more of that ultramarine blue. That's a nice bright color and still use some of the green. <laughs> My palette gets all mixed up by the time I'm finished with a project, but I think that's fine. And you know, sometimes I'll take those same colors because I have them all mixed up and try to do something fun with those too. So I'm just putting them on. Have a foot here. It's kind of cute. And then he needs a foot on the other side. I think that's kind of cute. So, guys, without much fuss or muss, we actually have a cute little Halloween pumpkin gnome. He seems quite happy. He seems very plump. Now, I'm trying to decide if he needs some um, hands or arms. They could, keep, they could kind of be behind his back, or I might use the same blue with a little of the orange and maybe just um, come down a little bit for a little, little bit of an arm. And let's bring it across here. Oh yeah, I think that's going to work out nicely. Maybe do one on the other side. Just kind of get his little arms going here. Now he needs some kind of, they don't look the same thickness, so I'll make this one a little bit bigger. Give him kind of an elbow. Now he needs some kind of little hands. Bless his heart. I'm going to do kind of mitten, mitten-like hands. <laughs> kind of adorable. And let's do one here with another little mitten in. Kind of like a heart. That's cute. I like it. Now, I'm kind of happy with my little pumpkin gnome. I will tell you, when I get off this film, um, I will probably lie him flat to dry because I've used really thick paint and I don't want it to start running. I want to make sure all my little edges are covered. And I'm really kind of going to leave it like that. I think it's kind of cute. Um, when I get ready to finish this, I will add some extra glitter when I put the top coat. And I think that'll be good. I'm just adding a little bit of color to his shoes there. But y'all, I think he turned out kind of sweet. That's my first pumpkin gnome. Um, I've never done a pumpkin gnome, but I'm happy with him. He's friendly, happy, kind of got ball colors. He's got a very plump belly, so... He's ready for Thanksgiving, too. Um, 
So anyway, I hope that you've had fun painting with me today. And I hope that you enjoy these little painting times. I hope you will uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Tinker Creek Designs. You can also follow me on Facebook at Tinker Creek Designs. Um, I do painting tips, um, some fun, um, quick, easy, inexpensive craft projects, and I usually try to do a weekly devotional. So I hope you'll join me, uh, share with those uh, in your uh, circle of friends who may like to do crafts and paint and just have a good time. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you for joining me. Now I'll uh, have to stand up and turn my phone off. All right, bye-bye.